The use of passing and auxiliary notes is not restricted to the soprano voice. They may be found in other voices, even in the bass part. Johann Sebastian Bach favoured using them liberally in his chorale harmonisations as the last phrases of his chorale, titled Wake, Arise, A Voice Is Calling. So you can see in the example below, J.S. Bach used it liberally in not just the soprano voice, but also in the alto, tenor and bass. Needless to say, passing notes must genuinely pass. That is, there can be no leaps either to or from them. A possible danger in using them is that they may cause consecutive octaves or fifths where none occurred before they were inserted. For example, in the F major example. Even worse, the use of passing notes will not eliminate consecutive octaves or fifths that were already there, as in the second and third examples. It is not good for passing notes to cause near collisions between voices, as in this case. It is better to avoid such a situation by allowing both of the voice parts to have passing notes. Special care needs to be taken when using passing notes in minor keys, where a part moves from the dominant to the leading note or vice versa. In such cases, the melodic minor form of the scale will need to be used to avoid the augmented second, as may be seen from these examples. Another means of enriching harmonic texture is through the use of added harmony notes. Once again, study Bach chorales harmonizations. Um, you'll find that on the second beat of the middle bar, Bach has the alto part moving in quavers from B flat to G, and the bass part moving from G to E flat, while the soprano and tenor parts remain steady. Let's have a look at that again. So here is the Bach chorale. Now you can see that on the second beat of the middle bar, Bach has the alto part moving in quavers from B flat to G and the bass part moving from G to E flat, while the soprano and tenor parts remain steady. Now obviously these quavers in the alto and bass parts are not passing notes, but added harmony notes. It is quite permissible for one or more voices to move to another note of the same harmony within the beat like this. But once again, it is necessary to check that this does not cause errors such as consecutive fifths and octaves.